boys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match preview. West Brom versus Bristol City on Saturday. Now, finally, a normal kickoff time, 3 p.m. on Saturday. You know, there's been a lot of games that have been midday and stuff like that, or on a Sunday or whatever. Just everything's been rescheduled because of Sky. Um, but we are on a normal kickoff this weekend. Obviously, Bristol City going to be a really tricky game. I remember last year when they absolutely the battered us in the first half. There was even protests for the owners to, to get out of our club and stuff like that. I remember that last year and it's just mad how things have changed. Obviously in our last game we got a 2-2 draw against Nottingham Forest. Really tough game. I thought, you know, having watched it back it was probably a fair result. You know, our goal got disallowed. Livermore potentially should have been red carded and stuff like that. Well, he should have been red carded really. Um, but their last game... Uh, they got a 1-0 loss away to Leeds United, which was probably not the best result for us. I, I would have preferred a draw because, obviously, if Bristol had to beat Leeds and then they beat us, that's six points gained. Um, they're currently sitting in seventh, um, six points off second. So, you know, they're not that far off. And I, I know a lot of their fans, their expectations will be to try and get uh, promotion and there's no reason why they can't you know they've got a really good side and we're sitting top of the lead four points ahead of Leeds seven points ahead of Fulham really healthy gap on third place so I'm not too bothered who goes up automatically well not no I'm not too bothered who goes up as as champions I don't care if us or Leeds as long as we get promoted automatically um, but key players for for Bristol and obviously former Villa man Andreas Weiman really good player he is in you know he's going to definitely probably want to get a goal against us because former Aston Villa player he, and you know he's not a bad player to be completely honest with you you know their front three is actually really good the, the, they just signed Naki Wells who was doing really well at um, QPR before he got recalled by Burnley and you know it's a really good signing by Bristol City it's a signing of intent you know, he's a player who can come in and score a lot of goals for the club. And I do believe he's a really, really good signing. There's an, I'm going to try and say his name now. I'm just going to call him Famara. Um, I don't know how you say his second name. I don't want to sit here and butcher his name because it is quite a difficult one to say. Um, but another really good player. Um, all three of them either play uh, up front or they can play on the wing and stuff like that who have mentioned. And... Like I say, Bristol City are quite a decent side. Um, it's going to be a really tricky game, but obviously key players for us, Matthias Pereira, probably the best player in the championship. I say it all the time. He's always featured on my you know, players to watch for West Brom because he's so dangerous. Um, I think Livermore as well, another player to watch. I think he's been exceptional in the past couple of weeks. Well, all season really. He's been arguably West Brom's player of the season, apart from Matthias Pereira. Um, in other news, we're not too sure what's going to happen with Charlie Austin. I know that the FA are investigating his tweets uh, where he had a, a bit of a controversial argument with uh, the Southampton fans calling their fans rubbish. Well, he didn't just say that, but I'm not going to repeat what he said on this video. Um, you know, the Kieran Gibbs as well. I'm not. Hopefully he is back. But that being said, I think Connor Townsend has been really good. Uh, fill him in for Kieran Gibbs and for me I wouldn't really change the team that much um, I don't think there's any really real reason to change the team you know we haven't lost um, our last four games we've got 10 points and I just think we've looked really good so I don't see the reason why we would change the team we all know that Slavin Bilic likes to keep a winning team we've saw that in recent weeks I'm really confident though going to Bristol I really am confident and I'm just hoping that we do get the win because it'll be absolutely massive for us if we can get the win and results go our, our way. And I think every single game now is like a cup final to us. We've got 13 games left. We need to approach every single game with confidence and just try and win as many games as possible. And I'll have no doubt that we will go up as champions. But fingers crossed, guys, I'm not going to get too carried away, and guys, we're so close to um, 1 million views on the channel, literally like 3,000 off, so we will be making a special video for that, hopefully, so cheers for everyone's support, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and here is my score prediction for Saturday.